Hey. Hi. I built two walls. Check this out. Closet wall number one, closet wall number two. Let's do closet wall number three. Yeah. Let's do. Okay. Are you excited to be here? Yeah. I don't believe you. Yeah. So Nate, I made this template for that wall and I think we can adjust it just a little bit to work perfectly with this wall. Okay. Mama, I've got a feeling that I'm onto something. Okay, so we made a template and now we gotta transfer this shape onto this piece of three quarter inch. It's gonna be our finished wood. So I'm just gonna make a really light mark. Draw this on right here. Ah, look at that. Oh no. Now, pencil struggles. Bam, we gotta cut this line into this board Fly thing. Away. Wings growing on my back, and the best that I feel when I think back and I check myself. That's way off. What did you do? Uh, what did I what do? What did you do? So now what? Well, we gotta scribe this, but I'm just not sure how much we can take off and have that still be okay. I mean, dude, what's going on? So there's no way I'm not gonna like still be off by a ton, but we're getting there. Okay, so I did some fine tuning with a palm sander. I think that's gonna have to be good enough for me. Oops. I didn't really give anything for Nathan to do yet, so he's earning a Boy Scout badge by learning how to... We'll get, leave the bug alone! There's a bug. Nathan doesn't like bugs. Trying to teach him the bugs are okay, but yeah. So what you got? I don't know that. It's gonna Wait. try. And, it's gonna try and make fire. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. Okay. Okay. So I got this wall up, and now to f to conclude my hypothesis that I can build something like this with just three quarter inch plywood, I'm gonna put two shelves in. I'm gonna put this shelf up here. I'm gonna put a shelf down there so that you can fit like shoes or something and stuff underneath. And uh, then this I think will be extremely stiff. That'll be really stiff. This will be really stiff. We'll see. We'll see. Nate, mm. you're not being that helpful. Okay, push, push it up. I can't. <laughs> Nate, it's not that hard. It's hot in there. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get this right. I gotta figure out how to do this. <laughs> Grab that like a man. There you go. There you go. Good job. Okay. I'm not a statue, so. So. Hurry up. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Grab it like a man. Okay. Okay. Hurry up. All right. All right. All right. Relax. Relax. I mean, don't be a statue, okay? You're okay, man. You're okay. I'm dying. You can stand there all day. It's just not accurate that you're dying. I got you, bro, don't worry. Amazing, amazing, you're doing such a good job. Okay, now you can relax. It's done. Oh, you did that? Yeah, I had to pull the board up. Hey, do this cinematics real. <laughs> We tested this hypothesis that you can frame stuff in a school bus with just three quarter inch plywood <laughs> and pocket screws. And the question is, is it really sturdy enough? And I think it's sturdy enough. I think, I think that's a, well, that's a little that's, cringe. That's a little jiggly, but did you just cringe? Nope. I think that's like really as sturdy. As, yeah. That's, that's, that's. So you need, you need like shelves if you're gonna do this kind of stuff. Okay. Something's gotta tie them together. Shelves, these things? Yeah. Ever heard of them? I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Great. Oh dear. All right guys, I'm on to my fourth wall panel. And I'd like to take a moment to tell you some of the things that I've learned. Here's some of the issues that I faced in trying to get the radius of the ceiling perfectly aligned with the 
vertical plywood walls. One of these problems is tear out. Uh, oops. So tear out. I have an issue with. On the inside, you can see that tear out is much less of a problem. Still a little bit of a problem, but it's better. What I've learned is that with the jigsaw, at least, you wanna cut upside down and that will prevent your tear out. Okay, the second thing is that when I was um, scribing this and then jigsawing and then sanding it, I was noticing that this side is generally even tighter. This side right here is really tight. So what I realized was that with the palm sander, when you're sanding this, you're naturally beveling it away from the line. And you want to do the opposite. This time, I'm going to mark it upside down, jigsaw it upside down, and then sand it upside down. I will have hopefully beveled this edge so that the outside edge is tighter to the wall instead of like in this one, the inside edge being tighter to the wall. It actually bevels a bit out and it's very extreme in the corner here, but it bevels out. So those are my tips. Mark upside down, cut upside down, sand upside down. Should have a tighter fit to your exterior. Okay, boom. Mama, I've got a feeling that I'm onto something. Wings growing on the bed and the place that I feel. When I think back and I check myself in the mirror. So I have this big gap again. I guess this is gonna work. I think this is gonna work, but luckily I've left it about an inch. I made it an inch wider than it needs to be, and now I am going to slowly sand off this edge until this gap is gone, and that means this will still be straight, and I won't have to do what I did over here, which was put a piece of filler. Okay, so that's adjustment number three or four. <laughs> and honestly, that's gonna have to be good enough for me because I've already spent way too long on this piece. I jacked up the ceiling because I was impatient. You can see I sweat on it. But um, it's in. And uh, oh, no, I still gotta screw it in. Okay, BRB. What do you think, should I, should I fix that? I mean, I could, I could sand there a little bit and sand right there. I could do one more and have it perfect. Ah. <laughs> my closets and in building my closets I built our bedroom walls and I built a bathroom wall and I built this wall and I did it with four pieces of plywood and Craig screws and that's it and a lot of time and my hypothesis was that for walls like this all you need is three quarter inch plywood and pocket holes and screws. And I think that I, at least, you know, I, I can't put this to the 30,000 mile test right now, but I think that I've proved that you can do that. And I'm glad that I tried it. And uh, these are really sturdy. I think they're totally fantastic. And they were really minimal in terms of materials and taking up space. And I'm happy with it. Woo! So catch you next time. Bye. Nothing without a doubt